Here we are going to learn how to draw the circuit diagram for the transistor it is working as a switch. Transistor that could be used for various purposes to construct the circuit of amplifier, to construct the circuit of oscillator for various purposes transistors can be used. Now we are going to learn how the transistor it works as a switch. Before going to see the function of the transistor works as a switch, first you should know how to draw the circuit diagram. Okay. First, the main important uh, key component of the circuit is transistor. The transistor must be drawn in common emitter mode. So here, the thing what I am drawing is called collector. Here the emitter to be brought down only then it will be called as common emitter. So both the two terminals are drawn, collector and emitter. So we have to take ample time okay, to learn the things. The line what is drawn here is called base. So we have to draw the arrowhead here. This is the emitter terminal, this one is the collector terminal and this one is the base terminal. First you have to draw the transistor. After that, here in the input, here you have to connect one resistance. That resistance must be connected in the base. The resistance which is connected in the base must be called as RB. Resistance connected in RB. Are you clear? After that, this terminal to be used as the input terminal. Are you clear? Here only you are going to give the input. Input must be given in term in the form of pulse. The input must be given in the form of pulse. So therefore, draw the circuit in proper form. Here, extend the line here. Across this two terminal, across this two terminal, the input must be given in the form of pulse. Are you clear? And then, this terminal to be connected with the ground. Are you clear? Ground means negative terminal of the power supply to be connected. And then from the collector, the circuit to be extended and extend the line. Okay. So here, one resistance to be connected. One resistance to be connected in the collector. Are you clear? The name of the resistance which is connected in the Resistor is called as RC. Resistance connected in the collector is called RC. After that, the power supply. The entire circuit it has to work now. For that power supply must be given. So here, the power supply to be connected here across collector and emitter. Are you clear? This is called VCC. The name of the power supply is called as what is this? VCC. Understand this. This terminal to be connected here. Since the negative terminal is connected here, we can call it as earthing. Are you clear? Earthing is nothing but 0 volt. Can you understand? So this terminal must be taken as positive, this terminal is taken as negative. If you give input here, its corresponding output can be taken across these two terminals. Are you clear? Extend the line. These two lines must be extended. After extension, across these two terminals, which one can be taken? Output can be taken. If you give the input, its corresponding output can be taken here. So the corresponding output can be called as VO. Are you clear? With the help of voltmeter across this two terminal, the output can be measured. Since it is output voltage, we can call it as VO. Are you clear? Very simple circuit. The power supply what is connected here is called what is this? VCC. Are you clear? Very simple circuit diagram. This one must be thoroughly learnt. Only then Today the further working of the transistor as a switch can be learnt. Are you clear? So the, here the input must be given in the form of pulse. 
pulse means the glare the shape of the pulse the voltage should be given in the form of pulse look at here this is the voltage that is given in the form of pulse are you clear this is generated in the pulse generated this is generated in the pulse wave generator here there are two states there is a low state whenever any low state is given that should be taken as zero volt are you clear immediately what happens the voltage it is switching over to the high state so whenever the voltage is given like this 5 volt that is in the high level this one should be taken as high input is it clear if zero volt is given then the input must be taken as low voltage this one must be taken as low input this one must be taken as high input alternatively low input high input low input high input alternatively we can supply across these two terminal are you clear there, there are two states in the input one is low state and another one is high state low input or low voltage can be given or high input high voltage can be given so this kind of pulse wave uh, input must be given across these two terminal depends on the input given you will be getting the output here so this is a simple circuit to clear from which we are going to analyze how the transistor it acts as a switch here you have to understand that this is the base terminal this is the collector terminal this is the emitter terminal and you have to mark the uh, type of transistor also npn what kind of transistor is used npn transistor is used are you clear so be thorough with the circuit later learning the uh, some transistor as a switch will be very easy okay nearby i have given the formula to calculate the output voltage look at the diagram very keenly the voltage across plus vcc and minus vcc that is in between positive and negative terminal of the power supply is vcc that is a sum of ic rc plus vce what is ic rc that is a potential drop across rc what is vce voltage across vce that vce alone is taken as output v output are you clear therefore vce can be replaced by v out so after that what will happen vcc will be equal to v out plus ic into rc our aim is to get the output therefore we have to obtain the formula for output output voltage so v output is equal to output voltage is equal to vcc minus ic into rc so this is a general formula with the help of this general formula we are going to calculate the output voltage in the case of transistor acts as a switch okay